Welcome and or welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. This is a recap of my fasting, my one week into my rolling 72 hour fast. If you're interested, stick around. All right, so I have completed my run. I'm doing my cool down right now. I ran for 4.6 miles. That is the longest that I've run in a very long time. I did it. I would have kept going, but my body said it was time to stop. My stomach, my heart wasn't feeling great, so I'm stopping. But this is Just Move June. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just moving. Also, today is day one. Um, after breaking my 10 day fast, I ate yesterday um, in the evening. It was the worst sleep that I've had in the last week and a half. Um, I woke up, I did gain a little bit of weight, which was to be expected. Um, it's just water and I didn't gain a whole lot. It was two pounds, um, but I'm going to do rolling 48. Um, I'll explain what that means a little bit later. This shirt, if you can see it, this is my litmus test for myself, um, if you will. It is an extra small shirt. It was the shirt that I could barely fit when I first got it. And I got this shirt in 2015. So I put it on to see if I had um, made any progress and it fits. Not bad. Hey y'all, okay, so I, it is day two of my first rolling 72s. So what that means is I have been fasting since 5 p.m. on Thursday, June 18th. And I will, today, so today is, um, yesterday was Friday. I did 24 hours. I'm into the second day. So right now, uh, let's see, I am at 24 plus, I don't know. Um, so it's 8.30 in the morning so um, I'm almost more than halfway there um, to the 48 hour mark and then Sunday will make 72 hours I'm gonna go for 70 hours of fasting eat for two hours and then restart so I will restart the fasting period at 5 p.m. on Sunday evening and then I'll go from Sunday to Monday Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday to Wednesday. And I'll go for 70 hours and I'll eat on Wednesday. Um, so I just ran four miles. I am doing my one mile walk, cool down. And then I'll get in the house, shower, and start doing some work. See y'all tomorrow. Are y'all moving? Are y'all moving? Come on. It is Sunday, June. I don't know what it's father's day <laughs> um i have finished the feast portion of the day um i started at three o'clock i did not get finished until about 5 15 and so um it is 7 46 right now i am at the end of my walk i went for a walk about an hour after i finished my meal I'm still kind of stuffed, um, a lot stuffed actually. Um, you'd be surprised at how little you can eat after you fasted for 72 hours, even though you want to eat more because you're trying to prepare for the next 72 hours of no food, but your body can't handle it. So um, I'm just gonna insert some clips here so you can see what I had to eat today. So I broke my fast with a spoonful of peanut butter. It is 100% peanut butter. Um, that's it. 
So when you eat that, it tells you just how much stuff is in the other peanut butter. Um, I was telling my husband that literally the ingredient says peanuts. Like that's it. Um, and it tastes like just some mashed up peanuts. Um, so that's the first thing I did. And then after that, I went ahead and cooked the next meal. Um, but I also drank some carrot and celery juice. It didn't look the best, but it tasted okay. Um, I just mixed whatever I had on hand. So I mixed some carrot with some celery and then I tied in some um, fresh squeezed orange pineapple juice that I had did for the kids yesterday. Um, I added that in and I drank that. And then the next meal that I had was absolutely amazing. The next meal that I had was um, Dave's, I think it's super seed bread with avocado that I made myself um, and some two fried eggs. <sighs> Amazing, like it tasted so good. I was surprised that the bread would taste that good because I thought it was gonna be nasty, like to tell you the truth. I saw um, somebody else on YouTube, I can't think of her name right now. I saw her eating it and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try, but I know it's gonna be nasty and I'm gonna be mad because I spent my $5 on this bread, but it was pretty good. And I only had one slice of it. What you see here is what I had. Um, and then for dinner, or which was really the third meal in that two hour time span, I had homemade shrimp fried rice with some wild caught salmon. I bought the salmon and the shrimp from Aldi's a little while ago and I made the rice myself. So um, after uh, the hour of me eating, I took my uh, ketone measurement because I have the keto, uh, I think it's called Keto Mojo. Um, I have that. So before I began to eat, it was registering at 0.7. And um, after I finished all of the meals in that two hour time period i waited an hour and that um, measurement was 0.2 so i was out of um of ketosis and it's because in addition to eating the um the shrimp fried rice i had a little bit of that leftover uh what was it peach cobbler pound cake into my screen so I'm not gonna lie that's that's what I had um, I did weigh myself after I ate this morning I was 147.4 and after I ate I was at 150 so I think um, I should be back down to probably about 148 uh, in the morning 148 for 149 somewhere in there in the morning but you guys will see that in the next video it is Tuesday, no, it is Monday. I have finished 24 hours of my second round of 72 hour fast. Um, I have not eaten anything all day. I just drank water and I had a cup of coffee this morning. I told you all that I would tell you how much I weigh after indulging in my meal yesterday. So this morning I was 170 i'm sorry 147.4 so um i think i had gained half a pound is what it is if it's wrong i'll um i'll correct it here because i'm doing this from my phone and i took notes on my phone this morning about the weight so that's it i'm moving this is my second workout of the day i did use the nike plus um or it's called the nike training club app I tried that out for the first time today because it is currently free while we are all at home. The premium version is free. So I'm just trying that out to see if I like it. I did my effect fitness class as well at 5.30. Um, so I'm doing a challenge to exercise twice a day, 75 days in a row, and to maintain um, a diet plan. I'm trying to do it y'all. Like this is a lot with this challenge, but I'm doing it. So that's it for today. See y'all tomorrow. So here I am after eating all of this food and I am completely miserable. 
uh, look at my stomach. It is stuffed to the brim. So I ate some chicken wings and some french fries. I also ate one corn on the cob, a double cheeseburger from Burger Five. I switched to this Dave's bread because I was trying to make myself feel better and Cold Stone. So it is the day after I binged on all that food and I ate all of that food as an experiment to see if I ate poorly, like really poorly on one of my feasting days where I just found myself so ravenous that I just had to have it, what would happen? What I found out was that I couldn't eat all of the food. Um, so I ordered 10 wings. I was only able to eat five. I ordered two burgers because they were buy one, get one free. I started with the whole bread from the bun and then I switched to the healthier super seed Dave bread um, and still couldn't finish all of that. Um, I couldn't finish all of the corn so basically I was eating just a little bit of everything kind of like when I was pregnant and your eyes were bigger than your stomach and you just really really wanted some food. I couldn't get it but I wanted to see what it did to my insulin levels, what, whether it took me out of ketosis, and what it did for my weight loss or weight gain the next morning. So what it did, I started, I think I was at two point, either 2.6 or 2.7 on um, the Keto Mojo, which means I was in the fat burning stage, I was in a ketosis, and then um, about an hour after I ate, I think I dropped down to point two, which means I was completely out of it. And then four hours later, I was at point one, so I dropped even lower. Um, so that meal that you saw me eat completely took me out of ketosis. I will test again today at the 24 hour mark to see whether I'm back in the ketosis or not. Um, my weight this morning was 145.4. Yesterday it was 144.8, which means I gained about half a pound. Now, obviously that half a pound is not fat. That half a pound is probably just the water that was in the food that I ate. And we'll see what my weight looks like tomorrow. But half a pound after eating all of what I ate, I'm not mad at it. So I'll let you guys know what my, what my Keto Mojo stick says later, and then see you tomorrow. And I'm moving. Are you moving in June? Let's get it. I am on day two of the third round of rolling 72 hour fast. Um, it is, I think like 8.30, no, it's eight o'clock PM. So that means I am more than 48 hours into this 72 hour fast. Um, it's getting tough. But um, I had to go for this walk because I was baking some muffins um, and some banana bread and then I did some mango coconut bread that we were going to eat tomorrow. My husband is eating it today and I just had to go for a walk because I was getting hungry. So I left the house while that was baking. Um, I It's late so when I get in I'll just shower and go to bed and then I will be near my 72 hours when I wake up in the morning. I'll go for my walk then. I will tell you that after that feast that I had the other day, I woke up this morning and I'm a little bit heavier than I was yesterday. I believe my weight today was 145.8. Um, I took my notes, so I'll follow up somewhere in here if that was incorrect, but 145.8, which means that I've gained one pound since the feast so obviously that wasn't a great idea okay so the experiment was um a fail but it also taught me a lesson like i can't just pick out like that just because i won't be eating for the next three days you still have to be mindful of what it is that you are intaking um and how much you're intaking all right, so what I learned in this Rolling 72s um, is they're not easy. Um, the eating, stopping, eating again 
this is not for the faint at heart, okay? It was much easier for me to do the straight 10 day fast than it is for me to do these rolling 72s. But what I've also learned is um, when I, that one experiment that I did where I just pigged out and ate everything that I wanted, that period of 72s seemed to be a little bit easier for me than the first one where I refed with some good food. Um, and so right now I am moving into my fourth round of um, rolling 72s. I'm already in it. Um, today is the first day of the fourth round. Um, the last refeed, I didn't like pig out, but I also ate more carbs than I did on the first refeed. So we'll see, you know, how, how this one goes. Um, so you don't want to refeed in a period where you are like completely miserable. That's, that ain't it. Um, so what I learned is that if I eat too many carbs, the, you know, just pigging out on everything that I wanted, I get miserable, then I'm tired and I can't, um, I can't really function for the rest of the day. I did gain weight. Um, after that period, I gained, I think, um, like a half a pound going into the next day and then the next day I was still up so it took me that entire three days to get back to the weight that I was at um, and so I'm now on the fourth day um, of the fourth round first day I'm at 146 whereas I was at 144.8 on um, the first when I, when I finished right before I got ready to refeed. Okay. So understand that you are going to gain weight if you're going to, you know, eat that terribly. And that is two pounds with me working out, um, running, uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays. Um, that is also with me doing weight training on those other days. So that, you know, that's, that's what happened. Um, there for me with the weight, but you'll understand that these rolling 72s are okay. I can get through them on days where I get extra hungry at the end of the day. I'll go for a walk. Um, it gets me out of the house. It gets me some fresh air and I can walk around the neighborhood. My son is trying to learn how to ride a bicycle. So I get out with him, do something to get myself through it. But this is how it's going. All right. How are your um, intermittent fasting goals doing? How um, is your just move June doing? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you just moving? Because I am. You see, your girl is trying to get healthy. Your girl is trying to get thin. Y'all see this face? Yes, it's smaller. If you didn't notice. And if you did, I need you to tell you, girl. OK, <laughs> um, my face was super, super chunky, but it's smaller now and I'm getting back to the person, you know, getting back to the person that I remember that I can look in the mirror and say, I like her. She looks like me because the other girl, I did not. I, I manifested weight loss for myself this year. That was one of the goals you, you saw at the beginning of 2020 that I said I wanted to be small again. I wanted to like myself. So I'm manifesting that I'm doing what I need to do in order to get to the body that I want to be in. Um, I remember one of my old teammates used to tell me all the time, nothing tastes as good as looking good feels. Um, and so like, she's not quite right on that. Like it tastes real good, but looking good also feels really, really good. And I, although right now I am fluctuating between 144 and 146 sometimes, um, my family that has seen me in videos or pictures that I've sent them have, you know, basically said, okay, stop, like you've lost enough. And in my mind, like, no, I, I, there's 20 more pounds that I want to go. Um, but they're thinking that that's just, you know, going to be too much. And I'll tell you like why, right? So for me, I'm hiding my weight, you know, very well. But this, I don't like the way that this looks, right? So once I can lose this, then I'll say I'm done. One that, you know, is small. Like I want to have abs. I've never had abs in my life. I'm working toward it. I'm actually about to start Beach Bodies. Um, what is it called? Um, like body, body pump or body something. Coach Sigi is the coach. I'll put it up here, but I'm about to start that program on Monday. I'm going to build me some muscles. 
Yep, your girl is going at it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are doing. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, journey on.